Hey guys, it's Dark Architect 18 back here with another YouTube video and today we're doing the USS Enterprise review video. So before I jump into that, I just want to say I do ship reviews, dev strike videos and much much more. So make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you like the content in the video, make sure to hit that notification bell to stay notified of all my videos. And now it's time to get to it. So we're going to break down the commander, the stats, the arm reviewer, the gameplay, and also the modifications for the USS Enterprise. So that's going to be good. And um, then we'll show you some good gameplay of the Enterprise and break it down and um, give you some analysis of that. So first up is the commander. So we have Captain Picard. So for our skills, we have no fly zone, Dark Silhouette, Out of Sight, Engage, and Corkscrew. And then we have Make It So, and our inspirations are Iona and Ryzo Tanaka. So we have more the torpedo damage, and we also have the aircraft restoration time. So mods, we have Flight Control Mod 1, Air Groups Mod 2, Concealment System Mod one and then air groups mod three um so survivability is decent so 51,400 hp 13 to 102 millimeters armor 28 percent torpedo damage reduction that's pretty good overall our aircraft um the bombs are the best on the enterprise overall but they're not too bad for the torpedoes now we have 8x1 127 millimeter guns. The secondary is AA. We have 3.7 kilometer firing range and 5.3. So we have some potential uh, AA to warrant against the enemy. And then we have maneuverability of a 32.5 knot max speed, 1070 meter turning circle radius, and a 13.1 second rudder shift time. Concealment 11. Uh, 11.1 kilometers, 8.2 kilometers detectability by air, and 2 kilometers guaranteed detectability range. So now we're going to look at the armor. So we're going to show you what we got for the armor. So um, we got the Citadel here. So that's the Citadel where it's located. So it's right about waterline. Um, we do have a little bit more armored part in the... Uh, front and the rear of the ship so that's pretty good because of that and then now for the deck you see that we have 19 and 38 along the side for the auxiliary room armor so that's pretty decent so that 38 millimeter can definitely bounce uh yamato um we got 40 millimeter we got um I'm going to show you the front and the rear for the uh, armor for the side plating and the edge here. So we definitely have some armor. We got 25 right there. We got 16. We got some 19 and we have 40. And we got 102 towards the lower part. The 40 is all the way at the bottom. But yeah, we're going to uh, show you some good gameplay for the Enterprise now. So uh, stay tuned and... Uh, I'm going to start with the Bomber Squadron, first of all. Um, also, one new thing is with the carriers. Um, it's been as of probably the last four to six months, but um, the carriers now have a gas can symbol towards the bottom center of the uh, screen. So that basically means that you are limited to that range. So if it says 35 kilometers left, you have 35 kilometers left. So that includes, you know, your speeding up, all that, your total distance. So if you hit that zero point in terms of um, maxing out your distance that you went for that one run of bombers or torpedo bombers or planes or whatever, then, you know, your, your planes are just going to... Um, stop where they are and you're going to go back to wherever your next squadron is or wherever your carrier is located so my carrier is located towards the back of the map we're back between B and C cap 
We're going to try to harass some of these enemies with torpedoes, first of all, which I like to do a lot with the, uh, I mean, carriers in general. So it's really nice to get some torpedoes off and just kind of harass the enemy. We're going to get some off on this Georgia. So we got two on there. So we're going to send another squadron out. These are the AP bombers. They are good overall. Um, I definitely feel they're better after the uh, buff to the Enterprise. It was a slight buff, but that was back when it was introduced in July of this year. So it's definitely got some good things going for it, but I definitely think it could be a little bit stronger um, with my build though I think it's pretty solid overall you could always mix it up um, maybe you do more of a concealment with build with uh, something else I don't know I mean maybe you do it with like bombs or something or accuracy or something or maybe it's maybe you do like a concealment build with a damage build which might be worthwhile. So um, the thing you're going to notice here is I am just going to be harassing this Odin. Like citadeling it after citadeling it after citadeling it. This is the thing with the uh, U.S. carriers is that they really do a great job with citadeling these German battleships. So you really got to think of going after them if you do if there's a Bismarck if there's a Turpitz if there's an Odin I mean you're gonna have a great shot at that um, I don't remember if it works the same with going against like the British ships maybe you can maybe against like the Vanguard maybe you can sit it out um, I mean I haven't gone against the Vanguard but that's my thoughts in terms of how it probably could work but Germans are definitely more susceptible to citadels when you are in the Enterprise dropping bombs on it or dropping bombs on the uh, like Odin or whatever. So definitely good to keep in mind. We're going to rack up these citadels um, this game, which definitely the highest amount I have gotten and also the highest amount of damage that I've gotten in this game as well with the Enterprise. So I thought this was a solid game overall and it really just showcases what the enterprise can do and it does great with its bombs it also does decent with it with its torps but the bombs are where it's um most unique uh aspect of it so we're gonna move our carrier back towards b and uh we're going to get another squad off. We're going to go towards the Odin again. Um, or whoever is out there closer to us in proximity. So. I'm going to keep going after these guys. I'm going to make a right turn over here towards the Odin. You're going to notice that Iowa is going to push up eventually. Um, whether that's just right now or within the next couple minutes. You're going to see that. Um, Odin's pushing up and then you're going to see an Iowa with him pushing up shortly afterwards so that's definitely going to be an interesting um, encounter but Odin is just getting completely harassed right now he's taking Citadel and Citadel and Citadel and I'm just like how many Citadels can I get on this Odin I mean this is incredible I just keep flying over him, setting up, you know, waiting for my target uh, ellipse to get over the ship. And then as it tightens that um, reticle for it, then it's more accurate. And also the other thing is the higher you drop the bombs, the more likely you are to citadel a ship. I know there's certain carriers like the Kaga that um, drops really low, but they have HE bombers 
and um, I mean another set of carriers that have AP bombs are the German carriers so um, otherwise pretty much all the other ones are HE um, so overall um, I think the Enterprise is okay I mean it could definitely be better I think the ship has potential with the right build in mind. Um, the planes overall for the health, I mean, you see it right here that they are definitely getting taken out by the Iowa quite easily. So they are very susceptible to uh, American AA. Not so much other nations. I mean, German not so much. French a little bit more so, depending on your build and Russian not typically um, Pan-Asian I mean they're pretty solid overall so um, but yeah it's pretty pretty solid I mean it's definitely got some versatility um, it's definitely a higher skill for playing for the ship but it's definitely got some reward for it and I enjoy it um, I'm not a carrier main by any means but I play carriers and I enjoy them as is and actually I'm trying to get more of those kinds of uh, types of videos up on the channel so I thought this would be a good one to do because we just got one recently you know in July so I was like thinking to myself well if I can get a good enterprise video and do a review on it and do some analysis on it and try to get some more of those videos those types of videos up on the channel um, I think that would be you know it couldn't hurt and especially if we got you know a lot of the community or a good part of the community maybe they like carriers and there's a good part of the community that doesn't like carriers so you know you're gonna just have to um, see what you like if you like them great if you don't no biggie but um i always suggest others to play different types of ships it makes you more well-rounded and you learn the potential for the ship and what kind of damage you can do with the ship so if somebody hits you for 20k with torpedoes you're gonna be like well that doesn't add up maybe he's doing a uh, torpedo damage build or that just doesn't make any sense because that damage doesn't equate to what it typically lines up for those torpedoes. So, um, yeah. Um, overall, the bombers have a 3350 max bomb damage. The uh, torpedo bombers have 6758 max torp damage. They go 40 knots for the torps and their three and a half kilometer torp range. So you got to get in real close and you got to set up your line for your proximity for laying out your torps right along the ship you're trying to shoot at and then letting them out for those torpedoes. And then you'll have a shot at taking out, you know, getting some floods, um, Trying to, you know, get floods towards the front of the ship is always a nice thing. Um, that's what I aim for. So, you have a higher percentage of getting that if you do that. Um, so, we're doing pretty good in the battle. It's a 4v4 now. So, we are just wrapping up the game. But, um, we still got like 5-6 minutes left on the game so a lot can still happen we got another flood right there we're up to 114,000 damage we are double digits in the citadel category or um, metals ribbons not metals ribbons excuse me <laughs> trying to think of the word um, and we have double digits in the torpedoes as well and bomb hits so we're really doing a good job here of helping out the team 
whittling down the enemy and uh, doing our job as a carrier. So, which is nice because I keep resetting the cap against that uh, Hampshire. And um, he's definitely not having the best day getting harassed by a carrier. But he's got good AA, so it's not too big of a deal for him. But anyways, I just citadeled him right there. So you can citadel cruisers. You can citadel battleships. Not destroyers because they don't have that option. And I think you can citadel other carriers of sorts of the tier. So got to test that out. But that's what I've seen so far from it. And it seems reasonable. So we're up about 200 points with the A cap. And the B cap, the enemy's trying to take the A cap. We were trying to take the D cap, so we're trying to switch a roo with our um, contesting, or not contesting, but <laughs> taking our caps essentially. So um, the enemy's cap. So we just took out the Hampshire, so we got one enemy left. We are up to 123,000 damage. Pretty solid with a carrier. I mean, this is a pretty good game for me overall. I mean, the best I've done in the Enterprise, and I mean, it's a good ship overall for being a carrier, and it's it's got potential. But you always got to think about your range in terms of your gas can, essentially, on the bottom, middle of the screen, because that is something you got to pay attention to quite frequently, and you got to think about how am I going to line up this this bombing run. And is he really close? Maybe I can get three bombing runs. Is he, you know, mid-range out there? Maybe I, I can do one incoming bombing run and then another one. But, you know, maybe they're further out and you can only get one out there. So you got to try to move your carrier up if you need to. But don't do it such that you get in the way of the... Um, essentially winning the game because you don't want to move your carry up so far forward that the enemy can start spotting it or start wrecking havoc on you. You don't want to do that as a carrier. That's not how you play a carrier effectively. So we're almost done here. Wrapping it up. We got 50 points left. So pretty good game make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing definitely getting closer to um, our march towards 1400 subscribers so I'm gonna be doing some more videos this week and probably some more YouTube shorts so keep a lookout for that and um, really appreciate everyone's support uh, it's been awesome this summer and um, Open to have a strong push for the uh, fall in terms of um, growth. But that's what we're going to keep doing is doing these streams, YouTube shorts, and all that. And, uh, yeah. So, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell to stay tuned in the next video. And, yeah. 123,000 damage. Second on the team. And uh, lots of citadels and torpedo hits. So yeah, this is Dark Architect 18. I am out. Hope everyone has a good day. And thanks for tuning in. And we will see you in the next YouTube video. Peace. Bye.